what up what up what up goody it is your girl how to cook and i'm back with another video this is a vlog a vlog tutorial something something well i don't know what it is but you got this back with another video right now i'm on my way to kroger's y'all know that i'm vegan whoever that don't know yeah your girl is vegan so vegan life I have to say it's tricky but I'm loving it though I always make my own butter right this is what we're going to talk about I always make my own butter but today um, and sometimes I buy the other one anyway anyway long story short somebody told me about this butter here um, I think they said it's in Kroger, so I'm gonna look and see if I find it. Somebody also told me about another butter that they found in Food Depot, vegan butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and check Walmart, Kroger's, and Food Depot and see their vegan butter. Um, because yeah, sometimes I get tired of making. Um, the butter and all uh, the butter for something there and the cheese and all of that so I'm going to try to get some cheese um, butter um, I'm also going to somebody also tell me that I know mean, um, all this cater for vegans too so I'm going to go into all this and see if I could find things to make dinner with options and you know so I can come up with them because sometimes I just don't really have the time to like cook the vegan stuff all the time which I'm the only one in the house that is a vegan anyway so when I do the vegan meat I just do enough just for me and then the rest of it but freeze it and put it in the you know in the freezer just keep, to keep it fresh because once it's thawed it's just like you just make it so that's what I've been doing but I need to get some something that is already made I got, you know I can't always put my little touches to it and give it an extra little flavor and a little boost so I'm gonna see if I could find some kind of a veggie, veggie substitute, meat substitute, and um, some gluten, battle wheat, gluten, meat, whatever we can find, butter, cheese, and what else? Maybe some nuggets. Um, we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but I'm gonna find it. So when I come back, I'm gonna walk because I'm using my phone. I'm gonna have a stand up. I'm gonna have nothing like that unless I use my phone. So. I'm going to go get those things and then I'm going to show you guys what I got. I also want to do um, a mukbang, a vegan mukbang because I haven't done one in like forever. So I wanted to go ahead and do one of that. And uh, yeah. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not me driving up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And give the girl that thumbs up, all right? And make sure you're sharing this good love with all your friends and your family. Family, family. All right. I know if I Spanish my talk about, but just be sure to spread that good love. All right. Um, what else? That's about it, y'all. So I'ma see you when we done the food shopping. Okay, goodies. So your girl finally made it home, and I did find a few things, and I'm so excited to show you the things that I found in the supermarket and how some of these supermarkets are getting really really keen on finding things for the vegan lifestyle now the first thing that the first place that i really stopped though was inside of the food depot and i did go into the food depot i went to um all these and i did go to kroger's but this particular um butter vegan butter I did find in um, the food depot right and they do have two different kinds this particular butter here is um, country crock plant-based butter and this is olive oil and honey baby the thing is so mellow it has a nice little um, taste to it oh my goodness so I put it on um, my bread I make um, my bread at home and I'm, I put it on my bread and the thing is so full of flavor. 
Now this one here is um uh, this is the almond oil and this one this have a nice little sweetish kind of a taste to it but not overly sweet it's all plant-based and trust me the thing is delicious so this one is from the food depot and it's really really nice now i did go inside a kroger's and i grabbed some cheese this one is um all plant-based it is really really nice it have a nice taste to it and you would have never believe it's um vegan cheese i'm gonna tell this something it's so nice oh so delicious oh my goodness and it's gluten-free trust me nice now i wanted to grab a couple of things for like sandwiches around lunchtime and stuff like that so i did go into all these and all this had this meat free chicken patty oh my goodness this is a uh, off the chain goodness off the chain this right here it tastes exactly like chicken like the, i can't even explain how good the thing is and what i like about this chicken patty here is that they season it so you can actually taste the flavor of the seasoning in it it is so good it only has 150 calories to it so honey yes this is a total bomb i love it it also have a nice little crisp to it. However, I prepared mine though. I, it have the instruction on the box of it prepared, but I did just fry mine up. And or if you don't want to do that, you could put it in the oven. Uh, and, just, and just eat it up there. I did also grab some chicken tender, chickenless. Uh, oh, tenders. Oh my goodness. It's something so nice. It has um, 42 less fat and eight grams trust me nice this is this right here so it have a nice little flake on the outside i did put it into the oven though and just let it kind of stay crisp i didn't want to put it in the microwave because it would have gotten saggy that's the only thing um i did get two boxes of that and i did make a mistake and put it in the microwave and it never come out so nice so i i would recommend you just put it in the oven and just kind of toast it up and it's going to stay crisp. Now, this right here, so, at the bomb that come. Trust me, go to y'all. If y'all trying to be vegan and you don't really want to go and make the, the, the beef and the, the patties and the beef and... Listen, listen. Simple something. The kale veggie burger right here, it is so divine. So divine. Now, for mine, I did add a little bit of coconut oil in a frying pan. And I did... um um right on both sides with my lettuce some tomatoes and some sweet um cucumber and all of that yes it was good nice 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 now these breakfast franks here these little links these are understatement they are so meat like oh my goodness I'm believing that they might have some kind of a vital wheat gluten in it because it, it is exactly meat like. And some of you ask me what I use for eggs. I do use um sometimes veggie chunks. Or uh, most of the times I just use uh uh Lord God oh, I can't think right now. Um tofu honey finally came to me tofu that's what i use when i um i'm making scrambled eggs for breakfast no the cheese here is from kroger's definitely and that cheese is smackalicious good smackalicious good i think that is it y'all that is it i think i already told you all about that good stuff now um as far as a lot of you want to know what i use most of the time when i'm making meat substitute I do use vital wheat gluten. This is my vital wheat gluten here. And this particular one, there's other brands that I use, but this one, the Meldy brand, I'm a bite on Amazon. Um, this one is 75% um vital wheat, but it's really, really good though. It makes the meat come out really, really nice. As a matter of fact, this is what I use when I made my vegan oxtail recipe. The last one. This is the exact one that I had used for it. I uh, I love it. Otherwise, from that, if I'm not um, using the one that is packaged like this, I make it from scratch. I really prefer making my own meat substitute from scratch using bread flour. Bread flour, okay? 
um now this is the nutritional yeast flakes that i've been using and this one i did buy on amazon as well i love the flakes now when you're making your vital when you're making your meat substitute you have to add your nutritional yeast to it and nutritional yeast goes well with any food at all you just sprinkle it on top of your food even if you are not a vegan if you eat chicken or beef or pork or vegetables or anything like that you could just go ahead and sprinkle your nutritional yeast on it even on your salad it is a good form of diet it can make it help you to lose weight and belly fat so go ahead and just pick you up some of that nutritional yeast that is it y'all i hope you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up y'all if you did and yeah i will see you in my next one wow good and remember from my kitchen to yours enjoy